This is my last ride with the Diamondback Carbon Sinker Hardtail. After this, I'm packing it up and sending it back to Diamondback. As I think many of you know, I started to sell stickers recently, which means that I can finally leave my mark on this bike. I'm sure you guys could notice the other stickers on it. This is Biking with Bobo, Single Track Sampler, and Daily Mountain Bike Rider. If I may, I'd like to shamelessly plug my stickers, which are available at jordanboostmaster.com slash merch. For this final ride, I'm going to ledge view with a new friend, Amanda. With perfect spring riding weather, this is going to be a lot of fun with the hardtail. I figured for my last ride, I should hit some of the big jumps again. Me and my friends pretty much always hit these whenever we come up here. All right, dropping in. Oh boy, Woo. Well, that was fun. I was a little bit awkward on 35, but I don't know, I went like a little far. They don't really get old, honestly. This is the jump I was talking about. It's not a gap. You can uh, go as far or short as you want. And then into the jump. Oh yeah. Sick. <laughs> How was that? Yeah. I think I'm mostly just scared to land wrong. Yeah, yeah. Amanda isn't very comfortable with hitting jumps yet, so we just hiked up to the top. And we're gonna go ride some trails that are often overlooked by me and my friends. All right, shall we? I guess so. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Here's <laughs> <laughs> that. Oh, baby. Oops. Oops. All right. I think. I almost fell when I stopped. Yeah. That was weird. That's fun, though. I really like that. I actually never went down that way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! All right. That was sick. Yeah. Sick. That part was fun. Gets a bit rowdy. <laughs> yeah, here's the uh, trail intersection. I think this is mixed bag um, from there. Fries can chicken and then this is like whatever the noodle something. I did it like once. I wasn't sure how you how you would do with all that steep stuff. But it seemed like you handled it fine. This isn't my worst fear. Jump it's good. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't mind trying this again just because like I've only done like once, but I don't know, do you have any preference? No, we can do it. Alright, let's do it. The way of the noodle. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, break it. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't avoid that one tree and then you just like trip over right here. Man, this is like steep stuff. It's awesome though. It's fun though. There's a tree. Yeah. All right, let's continue. Hitting some Woo! Oh, baby. Oh! Whoa. Woo! 
about that. Oh yeah, so that's the uh, noodly appendage. This is mixed bag, that's right. Dude, that is fun. Sand in it. Yeah, I really like that part. That was fun. That got quite fun, actually. These are the trails I started mountain biking on. They're also the most mellow and tame trails that you can find in the surrounding area. Being so flowy and smooth, not really any rocks, not even very many roots, it's what makes them so good for hardtails. You don't really miss your suspension very much when you're riding these kinds of trails. If you haven't heard me say it before, then let me say it now. Hardtails are a really great learning tool for every mountain biker. If you can have a hardtail as your first mountain bike, that's probably ideal. Or maybe if you started on BMX, the idea of less or no suspension and smaller wheels, which means that you feel the bumps more, you feel the physics a whole lot more, what happens to the bike, it's what teaches you how to ride and transferring those skills to bikes with lots of suspension or even bigger wheels will only make it a whole lot easier. That was fun though. I, I forgot how fun that part of mixed bag was as well. Have you done this? Amy Fisher. Oh, first time I was on it, on it, I ended up in the hospital. What? For real? <laughs> so then we hiked back up the mountain a little bit to get to a trail called Junkyard Zombie and then go into Dead Reckoning. The end of Dead Reckoning has this super janky wood feature that I have not done in years and pretty much nobody else ever rides. But who knows, maybe today's the day to revisit it. Yeah. Send it. <laughs> Alright, we're doing Junkyard Zombie here. And then Pretty fun, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. And then there's a super sketchy thing. Mm. I haven't done it in a long time and I don't think I'll do it. I don't I, understand I, it. Oh, okay. Perfect. I'll I'll do a run up, but I don't know, it's so weird though. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> well, I did it at least. 
I bottomed out. <laughs> That's so weird. This is actually the way I like to do a lot of features. I don't even always plan it ahead of time. It just depends on how I feel right before it. Nice. Yeah, I kind of saw why no one does it, but like... And if I'm feeling totally good, I'll just go for it, even if I was intending on doing a run-up. You look at it and you're like, I probably won't even feel good doing it. But once you like have the momentum and you're on it, it's not always that bad. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyway. Sick. That's cool. Sick. <laughs> so that concludes my time with the hardtail. It was such a great bike. I rode so much with it and I had a lot of fun. I am really happy to have my Wilson up and running again. And while it's springtime, I've already been getting out to a number of different places, having a blast with the Wilson and you guys will see that in some future videos. But what you will also see fairly soon are my new sponsored bikes. I do not have anything as of yet, and I'm just choosing not to reveal anything until I actually have at least one bike to show you. But that should happen within a couple weeks. I'm gonna have to put back the carbon handlebar on again, but I also wanted to see how much this thing even weighs. 27.25 pounds with the aluminum bar and with the carbon bar it's showing 27.09 pounds. Well, it's time to take this bike apart and put it back in the bike bag and send it away. Of course, I need to give a huge thank you to Diamondback Bikes for letting me keep this bike for as long as I did. It was a, probably around five months total that I kept this bike and it was nice because of course that's all I had throughout the entire winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see my other videos of the Diamondback Carbon Hardtail, there's a playlist linking right here so you can click on that. And I want to give a huge thanks to all my patrons who are a huge support for my channel. And if you want to support my channel in other ways, you can buy stickers from my website, jordanmoosemaster.com slash merch. The Whistler is opening in a couple days, so maybe I'll see you there.